Have you ever signed into your Google My Business dashboard and been presented with this message? This location has updated information from Google users or other sources. Review these published updates to make sure that they're accurate. If you have, you're not the only one. And if you're not careful, some of these changes could drastically affect your listings visibility in Google Maps. And nobody wants that. If you want to know why this is happening, where these changes are coming from, what they mean, and what you should do about it so your listing doesn't get impacted, stay tuned. Hey, it's Luke Duran here from rankingacademy.co.uk where I help local business owners like you maximize their online visibility to attract more customers. If it's your first First time here today, why don't you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm going to start this session by showing you how easy it is to edit any Google listing. Let's say I'm looking for electrical services in Sidcup, which is located in Southeast London. The top result in the map pack is a business called Sidcup Electrical Services Electrician Electricians, which doesn't sound like a legitimate business name to me. As a matter of fact, I know it isn't, and this electrician is spamming Google Maps with a number of bogus listings, so I won't feel too bad tampering with it. All I need to do is click on the listing itself to bring up the panel for it, then click on Suggest an Edit and Change Name or Other Details. From the pop-up window, I am now able to update some key information related to this business, such as the address, the category, opening hours, and even the business name itself. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to remove the keywords electrician and electricians from the business name and click on send. Google will display a pop-up window thanking me for my feedback and also highlight it will not influence the ranking of any single page. Now, I'd like to linger a little on this statement. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know the business name of a listing plays a huge part in rankings on Google Maps. I even published a video about it a couple of months ago in which I ranked a Google My Business listing number one in 96 hours by simply changing the name. So surely this statement from Google is incorrect. Having said that, suggesting an edit on a listing doesn't mean it will go through. If it does, Google will let you know via an email. Since Google automates a lot of these changes, I received confirmation my suggested edits had gone through almost immediately after I made it. And although the email said some changes might take up to 24 hours before appearing on Google, they were visible on Google search results within minutes. If this happens to you, it could have disastrous consequences on the rankings of your own listing almost overnight. That's why it's important you monitor your listing regularly so you can check the information Google displays on your panel is accurate. While some unwanted changes to your listing could affect rankings, other changes could simply lead potential visitors down the wrong path. Imagine if someone changed your phone number or your opening hours, for example it would be equally devastating to your business. What is challenging is the fact that edits are not always made by members of the public. As stated on its help platform, Google can use data from publicly available information, such as your website, major directories where your business can be listed, such as the Yellow Pages or Yelp, or social media platforms like a Facebook or LinkedIn business page. If Google finds enough proof from other sources the details you've entered on your listing are inaccurate, it will replace it with the data it finds elsewhere. Here is an example of a dentist called Clearstone Dental whose opening hours showing on the Google My Business listing are quite different from the ones that can be found on the Yellow Pages profile. If Google finds similar information in the Yellow Pages elsewhere for this business, it could automatically update this dentist's listing with new opening hours without the business owner knowing. The Google My Business dashboard will end up looking like this. The worst thing is, if the data is incorrect on those sites and Google ends up using them, your Google listing will also end up showing inaccurate information. To avoid any nasty surprises, search for your business in Google and go through the top 15 to 20 results where your business is listed. Whenever you find your business, make sure the information is in sync with what Google has in its database for your listing. Another reason why the information on your listing could be updated without your knowledge is if you have provided access to it to other users apart from yourself. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one virtual sessions with clients to help them manage their Google listings, for which I need access. Depending on the level of permission I am granted, I can update some of the listings key information. Obviously, I would never update anything unless I speak to the owner first, but clients tend to forget they have given me access and several months down the line, I'm still able to amend the listings. Imagine if a disgruntled former employee had access to your listing with the right level of permission. 
it could be devastating. To find out who has access to your listing and in what capacity, log into your Google My Business dashboard. From the left-hand side menu, click on Users. This will bring up a list of all users who can potentially modify your listing's information. Remove anyone you think shouldn't be part of that list. There is one last source from which edits can be made on your listing. They are known as licensed data from third parties. This is when you authorize third-party agencies such as digital marketing agencies, third-party search engine optimization companies, or else to help you manage your listing. They generally come in the form of an app which directly plug into your listing. Some of these can update your listing automatically without you even knowing about it. If your listing has been live for some time, I'm almost certain you have authorized access to many of these, some of which are likely to be no longer relevant. To find out what they are, log into your Google account associated with your Google My Business profile, then head over to myaccount.google.com slash permissions. You should see a list of all the apps which have access to some of your Google account data. Go through the list and remove the ones you think shouldn't be there. Regardless of where the updates or edits made to your listing come from, Google color codes them to provide you with some context. If you log into your dashboard to check your business information and see anything in gray with a strike through, it means Google has replaced the data. The new information will be in plain orange. In this example, the business name has been replaced from leapfrog web design in one word to three separate words, including some capital letters. If the data is just in plain orange and there is no information crossed out in gray, it means it is new data Google has added. In this example, web hosting company has been included as a secondary category. If you see some crossed out information in orange, it means Google has removed the data altogether. In this example, some opening hours have been removed and replaced with different ones. It is important to know that if any of these updates appear on your dashboard, they are already live on your listing, hence the reason why it's important you monitor it regularly. If you are not happy with them, you'll need to change them back individually to what you want and then save. If you are happy with them, you can simply click on accept all for this location and your dashboard will be updated accordingly. You will no longer see any orange or gray data crossed out. Bear in mind, these edits were implemented for a good reason, i.e. Google thought they were more accurate than what was originally there. Even if you disagree with them and change them back to what they were, it is possible they will creep up again. To avoid this, you'll have to figure out which possible sources the edits are coming from, which I'll quickly recap. Make sure you monitor your listing regularly, so if a member of the public updates it, you can avoid potential ranking disasters. Check your business information is accurate across the web, especially on main directories, your website, and social media platforms. Remove unwanted users who have access to your listing. Delete any third-party app that are redundant. And finally, make sure you adhere to the Google's guidelines. That's it for today, guys. You are now fully equipped to deal with your listing being updated against your own will. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If it was your first time here today, remember to subscribe and until next time, happy marketing.